So I tried something new today. Um, and by new, I mean how I start a sculpture. As you can imagine, starting a sculpture is the absolute hardest thing, especially for myself. So if any of my followers out there um, are good at drawing, I'm, unlike myself, I'm, I'm trying to improve, but I've been taking lessons with clay and drawing and learning these concepts. This concept of the rib cage and the pelvis is called the bean, or in, in this case, the robo bean, because it's so boxy. Um, this allows me to twist, bend, pivot, and uh, you know position the sculpture. So essentially what I've done is I've made a mannequinized frame here. So this will allow me to kind of fine tune the gesture, which is uh, got to be the hardest thing as far as sculpting goes. Capturing the gesture, the energy, the emotion, uh, what you're trying to convey to the viewer. So. Um, this will allow me to perfect the gesture first. I can do small things like you know, I can bend out this knee here and I can reposition it however I need to. Um, I can break off any of these welds um, and uh, you know I can reposition the head and then essentially once I get the gesture right my plan is to then break these parts all up and then individually um, limb by limb go through and weld on the muscle and the elbows, all the joints, all the details um, that will sit on top of the bony surface. So this is uh, pretty cool. I, I, I'm pretty excited about this and and uh, looking forward to seeing how I can incorporate this and, and maybe improve my productivity. Because if before, if you've been watching what I've been making recently, I have been making full rib cages, you know, hollow rib cages, simply because I need a guide. I need to figure out, you know, where the rib starts and stops, and where I can put uh, the next portion of of the sculpture. So, in order to um, improve on efficiency and gesture, uh, flexibility, and making things look more natural, I'm trying to come up with some way of of being more efficient with the time, because a lot of ideas that I have include uh, making, you know, two, three, four. Uh, human figures and the thought of doing that right now is is quite daunting and and it's demotivating right now if I imagine doing that so I just kind of whip this uh, female figure up really fast to kind of try this this technique out and I, I'm quite excited it seems like it will work so once I once I uh, get this all together I'll start breaking it apart and I'll start filling in the abdomen and the flesh on top of the the rib cage and uh, and we'll go from there so very kind of interesting thing I've, I've never seen anybody do this so this is a new thing for me but if anyone has any suggestions I'd love to, to hear it let me know